tape. I'm watching everybody. You guys are supposed to know how to block correctly. You're not supposed to use the guy for balance. You block, you block here and check. You don't leave your hand out there. You don't make it just passive. You work out for yourself to defend yourself. And if you don't practice it, you get out there in the fight, you're going to get problem in less than 10 seconds. You can't give that guy 10 seconds. You've got to learn how to do it correctly. And if you don't practice it here, you guys have spent at least a year later, right? Most of it, right? Sir. But you need to practice the basic blocks, and they've got to be better than that. And don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly, because one day, some of you are going to be confronted out in that street. And if you don't practice it here and put it in your head, how to do it correctly, you're not going to be worth a damn out there in the street. And I sit back here and let my guy teach. He's being evaluated also. How to be a teacher. How does he get this point across? I see little things that he needs to work on. But the most important thing is you guys, you people, learning how to defend yourself and doing it correctly. You're learning how to move fluidly. You have to learn how to move fluidly. So you generate power. You can't generate power standing up right here. I don't care how strong you are. I can get Terry over. He's a strong man. He's got his arm as big as my thighs. But I can move him because I know how to do it. And you need to practice it. You need to put it up here. Because if you don't believe in what you're doing, then you're in the wrong place.